Now we're going to work on the top layer. And what you're gonna to wanna to look for is, you're gonna to wanna to look for a case where these two corners here have the same color right here and right here. It doesn't matter about this middle color. If this middle color was, was, was you know, red, it d doesn't matter. It just matters if these two pieces right here have the same color here and here. And if they do, it means that these two corners need to be switched. And so, to switch two corners, the algorithm, is R2 U U R2 U U prime R2 U U prime D D R2 U U prime R2 U U R2 and then just fix the bottom. And that uh, matches up all of your corners. One case that you may come across is when you look around and you see that you don't have any two corners that have the same color here, here, and here. The way you fix this is you hold it from any position you want and you just do the algorithm that switches two corners. And it will make it so that you have um, a, a, the, the color here and the color here will be the same and then you can switch these two. So you just use the algorithm that switches these two corners. And then you just turn it over to this side and use the algorithm that switches these two corners, which is the same one that switches these two corners. And there you are. Now, for the top layer edge pieces right here, there are two main algorithms that you're going to need to know. The first is where you switch two edges that are across from each other. So these two edges here get switched. The algorithm to switch these two edges is, it's a very simple algorithm. It's R2, UU2, R2, UU2, R2, UU2. And as you can see, that does create parity. The next algorithm that you're going to need to know is where it switches two edges that are adjacent to each other. So it switches two edges right here. And the algorithm to switch two edges, it's a little bit longer. R2, UU, R2, UU, R2, UU2, R2, UU2, R2, UU, R2, UU prime, R2 and it also creates parity. Using those two algorithms, you can um, use them in a couple of cases that you're going to see on the top layer. Here is the most common case you're going to see, is where one edge is solved and these three are not. So you look at the cube and you see that this blue piece needs to go over here, but this, uh, this orange piece doesn't need to go over here, but we'll fix that later. So we just use the algorithm that switches these two edges to get this blue piece over here. And then all we gotta do is just switch these two edges adjacently with each other with each other using the algorithm that switches the two edges that are adjacent to each other. And there we go. So using those two algorithms, you can pretty much solve any case you're going to see in the doing the edges on the top layer. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to solve the top and the bottom layer just like a 3 by 3 by 2 And but it, and instead this time we can actually see the top and the bottom color. So um, I went into it in detail in here in the solving a 3 by 3 by solving these two layers like a 3 by 3 by 2 but I'll go over it again. So we're going to want to get our cross pieces and again when we match it up we don't just bring it down. You bring it to the front and then rotate this up, put it in position and rotate it back down. So we just put in all of our cross pieces then we put in all of our corner pieces using the uh, same algorithm that we did before.
And as you can see, we did create parity, but we're going to fix that parity when we do the top. So we look at the top and we see that we have these two corners that this, it has the same color here and here, but these two need to be switched. So we, do, you, we use the algorithm that switches two corners. And the algorithm again is R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, D, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, and then just fix the bottom. And now for the top layer edges, all we gotta do is just switch these two edge pieces uh, using the algorithm that switches two adjacent edges and it'll fix the parity. So the algorithm again is R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And then just turn the top and you have solved your three by three by five. Now I'm gonna go over parity real quick. This is the parity case that you may run into. To fix this parity case, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold it so that uh, the place where these two edges and these two edges need to switch, you wanna hold that in the front, and then the algorithm that you're gonna do is UU2, like that, R2, F2, which is, just means to turn the front face twice, and then U, U2, U2, F2, R2, U, U2. Just like that. It's as simple as that. So that's how you solve a fully functional 3x3x5. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Bye!